Hey guys, welcome out to King Owls, and yes, obviously next Friday it will be Jake Paul versus Andre August. Um, it's an interesting one in my opinion. Will Andre August be a tougher test for Jake Paul than Tommy Fury was? Because obviously, you know, Tommy Fury's not exactly amazing, is he? So can Andre, will Andre August actually be better than Tommy Fury? We're going to, you know, break down... Um, well, Andre August, of course, as well uh, here today and what he could do to trouble Jake Paul in their fight on December 15th next Friday. So, yeah, anyway, let's get into it now. Um, I can wait. So it shows a few highlights here. Okay. So, obvious, wait, no, that was one of his biggest knockouts there, actually. Missed that one. So, here we go. Andre August, uh, Andre August the one in the white. That's a great lead hook. Great lead hook, which just put him, which put him out there. Oh, got a good one punch power in the hook as well. Great shot, great shot. Like you know, the other guy wasn't really showing too much defense. To be fair, and I feel like you know, Jake Paul will be. I feel like he's gonna. Jake Paul will definitely be better than all of these guys that Andre August is fighting, one hundred percent. Um, but you know, if you think of it again, though, Jake Paul's not exactly any at any high level at all, though, is he? So it, it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes. Uh, to be honest with you, Andre August has been out for a while before this fight. I think he had like one or two fights. He came back. He beat someone with a decent record in like his. I think was it his last outing or was it the one before or something? But yeah, um, let's have a look at this one here. Digs to the body well, goes up top like. You know, it could he be a bit too slow? Like, you know, Andre August seems like quite an explosive puncher, to be fair, and can put his combos together fairly well when he's got you on the ropes. But the guys that Andre August is fighting, there's nothing coming back from any of them, though. But he does put his shots together well. He does seem like he can overwhelm you a bit. And I do feel like coming into this fight, Andre August will be the stronger guy. Like, he's going to be stronger than Jake Paul, Andre August. So if Andre August could try and rough um, Jake Paul up, get him against the ropes and then get his work done, it will be interesting. I feel like Jake Paul's really going to have to have, you know... Uh, better footwork than he usually does. Like, Jake Paul showed improved footwork when he uh, fought Nate Diaz, but, you know, he's g it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be good to be able to, you know, stay off these ropes because when Andre August has got you on the ropes, that's exactly where he does his work best. Like, yeah, like, you know, controlled it well there, pushed him off when he tried to clinch. And yeah, like, he, he does really like to dig to the body, to be fair. And like, you know, he's cutting, he's able to cut the ring off fairly well. But yeah, like, there's nothing coming back from his opponent. Oh, wait, there was there. Hardly anything. No, but yeah, he's, but yeah, there's hardly anything coming back, is there? Like, he's hardly throwing. So yeah, this is the other one. Andre Gross, the one in the blue gloves. Like, that's a good shot. Picking his shots off well, obviously, yeah, got him on the ropes. Can he, you know, needs to try and get some uppercuts through the through the gloves, I think. But yeah, puts his, like, he's a hard puncher, and I feel like Andre August is definitely, you know, he definitely hits harder than Tommy Fury, 100%, and he seems like a stronger guy than Tommy Fury. Um, it, it, it's going to be interesting, in my opinion, because... Jake Paul, when he fought Tommy Fury, Jake Paul went into that fight wrong. Jake Paul tried to outbox the boxer, which was Tommy Fury, obviously. Tried to outbox him, completely got that strategy wrong. But, coming to this fight, Jake Paul's going to have to outbox Andre August, in my opinion. That's why I think Jake Paul's going to do. I'm not, I don't think Jake Paul's going to be searching for a knockout or anything. He's going to have to keep calm. He needs to be moving a lot. And, you know, the one thing that I've noticed massively in Jake Paul's game, which he doesn't do amazing, is Jake Paul hasn't really got much of a jab. And I feel like Jake Paul's going to need, you know, that jab to be, you know, needs, he's going to need to be popping out his jab a lot. When he's fighting someone like Andre August, Jake Paul needs to keep this fight at a good range, in my opinion. Don't let Andre August in and don't let him really dig into that body. But I do feel like at points in this fight, Andre August could actually rough Jake Paul up, in my opinion. I honestly feel like he could. 
Um, he's a completely different fighter to Tommy Fury. And, you know, let's be real, Andre August and Tommy Fury are fighting similar level of opponents. Like, they're not fighting anyone great, are they? They're fighting journeymen. Uh, very tough journeyman as well. Like, Andre August, you know, obviously he was digging to the body on the last guy we saw him against. And that guy was taking some big shots. Um, but yeah, like, they've both been fighting journeymen. Jake Paul, I mean, obviously hasn't really been fighting anyone special either. Obviously, you know, Fortnite Diaz in his last one, not a boxer, didn't really show any sort of threat apart from Nate Diaz's cardio being really good. And, you know, the thing is for Jake Paul is he does, he can get out quite quick. And I feel like Andre August could be a guy who could make Jake Paul gas out if Andre August uses his weight and leans on Jake Paul quite a lot if he can get him up against the ropes. But I do feel like Jake Paul will be moving a lot, though. But... I do think Andre August has got a good chance of winning this fight, though. But at times, I feel like when Andre August is on the attack, though, he does leave himself open, and Jake Paul could take advantage of that. I feel like these lower-level fights are definitely harder to predict, in my opinion, because you just don't really know what you're going to get. Uh, but yeah, see what Andre August does here. Big shot, big overhand. Guy took it well, though. But yeah, like, Andre August doesn't really use the jab at all. From what we've seen, have we actually ever seen him use the jab? We haven't seen Andre August actually use the jab from what we've seen of him here. Uh, that's the thing. He's not used the jab at all. And, you know, Andre August doesn't set up that, yeah, he doesn't set up his shots with the jab. He just goes in swinging some massive haymakers. Does pit shots together really well, though. But, I could, if, I feel like Jake Paul will be moving around quite a lot in this fight, and if he can get that jab going. Jake Paul's more technical than Andre August. 100% he is. And I do feel like Jake Paul can outbox Andre August. I feel like Jake Paul will probably be able to keep this fight out range. And Jake Paul shows some decent power as well. But if Andre August can get his rhythm going and get that game plan going where he can try and rough up Jake Paul, then he's got a good chance. I do feel like there's a chance that Andre August could drop Jake Paul. But I also feel like on, uh, Jake Paul could drop Andre August, though, when Andre August is coming in. I feel I see both guys getting dropped in this fight. I honestly do, to be fair. I see both guys getting dropped. I see Andre August dropping Jake um, earlier on in the fight. But I feel like Jake Paul might be able to get a knockdown later on and be able to seal and be able to seal the fight. Uh, and I feel like Jake Paul, like, I don't know, as of now I'm leaning towards Jake Paul by, uh, by like unanimous decision or something, but I don't feel like you can count Andre August out though, I feel like it's going to be an interesting one, I feel like it's going to be a more entertaining fight than the Tommy Fury fight was, I feel like Andre August definitely brings a different kind of threat to Jake Paul than Tommy Fury does. But yeah, Jake Paul, to be fair to him, I don't like him too much, but he's taken the right route, to be fair now. So you need to give fair play to him. Fair play to him for now going down the route of fighting boxes. And he's fighting on like, he's not exactly fighting in a big arena uh, as well. He's not fighting in a big arena. It's like in a hotel or something. And he's also fighting um, on non-pay-per-view as well. So fair play to Jake on that. Uh, this could definitely be an interesting challenge. Will Andre August be tougher than Tommy Fury? We're going to have to wait and see, but he could be. He brings a different kind of threat is what I've been saying. I feel like Andre August brings more of a threat of being able to knock Jake Paul out than Tommy Fury did. But Tommy Fury, you know, he's a, I feel like overall he's a better boxer than August, but August is more explosive and, you know, stands more of a chance of knocking Jake out than Tommy did. But he's not. I don't see August being able to dominate Jake Paul in the way that um, Tommy Fury did, though. It's a different kind of fight. Uh, that Tommy Fury and Andre August different kind of fighters. So it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. We'll have to wait and see and find the answers out on December fifteenth. Anyway, I'm going to this video here. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace.